Hi everyone, I am here to share with you a story about Mother's Day. So as you know, Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday and I so wish we were at school together so we could be making special gifts to share with your amazing moms, but unfortunately we are not. But I still wanted to share this story and hopefully you're able to snuggle up with your mom and listen to the story together and enjoy it for Mother's Day. So I'm going to be reading you a story called Called the Night Before Mother's Day. You're probably familiar with these stories. We've read them for lots of different things. We had the night before the 100th day of school, the night before Valentine's Day. So there's lots of stories like this that we have read. So I hope you enjoy it with your mom. Twas the night before Mother's Day when as quiet as a mouse, dad told us his plan to get mom out of the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals soon would be there. So they're trying to get mom out of the house because they're up to some kind of special surprise. Then out in the yard there arose quite a crowd. Come on, let's go girl, her friend shouted real loud. They're getting ready to go out on a run. Let's find out what dad and the kids are going to be up to. So mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Away to the kitchen we flew like a flash as if we were running a 100 yard dash. So that means that they were running fast. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops, way too much splatter. Looks like they're making a mess. That's okay though. We made fancy cards adding our I love you's and a special coupon that mom sure could use. When mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What did I miss? She asked. Nothing, dad said with a wink. When child we children then nestled all snug in our beds while visions of mom danced in our heads. I think they're getting excited. The next morning we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day! She reached both of our car. She read both of our cards and after wiping her eyes said, A private spa session? What a lovely surprise! Do you think she was wiping her eyes right here because she was sad or because she was happy? I think she was happy. We took mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. Dad is doing good so far. Coffee in an extra large cup is a good idea. We rubbed her shoulders. We massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled. You kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her to cover her hair, then we dabbed on a mud mask. No mess anywhere. So it looks like they're pampering their mom. They're giving her a spa day. I painted her nails, what glittery fun. A top coat of polish, voila, manicure done. Dad said the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. So mom hurried off to go get dressed. We took seats at the table, behaving our best. When what to our wondering eyes should appear but the perfect model for mother of the year. Her eyes, how they sparkled, her hair brown, how curly. Her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly.
we raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom, and that's not a boast. Look at how happy she looks. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. And that is the end of the night before Mother's Day. So I hope you make sure that your mothers feel extra special on Mother's Day. You have amazing, amazing moms. So it's very important that they feel so much love on that day. So make sure you're extra nice to your moms. You treat her extra special. You give her extra hugs, extra cuddles, and make sure you tell her you love her very, very much. So I hope you guys enjoyed the night before Mother's Day. Make sure to treat your mom super special. Bye, everyone.